Hey, Mir, sorry to hear you're having trouble with your Firefox data directory. Um, I'm going to show you how to figure out where to put that. Um, so, assuming you have a backup of all of your Zotero data um, before you wiped your carbon, um, I'll show you how to determine where to place that in your new setup. So, here I've got Zotero open in Firefox. I'm going to click the gear icon and go down to Preferences. And here you'll see a bunch of tabs up at the top. The one I want is Advanced, and then I want to click on Files and Folders. And here you might see something different depending on your current setup, but um, go ahead and click Show Data Directory. And this is going to show you, let me drag this into your view, this is going to show you up here where your Zotero data directory is placed. It, yours might look different than mine, but this is kind of the, the path to where you want to plug in that backup you have. Um, so yeah, you would just navigate to computer, and then in my case data, user data, Firefox, and Zotero. Yours might look different, but that's where Zotero is looking for the information, so that's where you need to dump it. Um, another thing you might want to try is setting up a Zotero.org account. Um, so if you click on the sync tab here, and then if you don't have a username and password, um, which you may or may not, go ahead and click on create account, and that's going to take you to Zotero.org and just create a free account. What that's going to do is it's going to give you, at, I think, at least 300 megabytes of free backup space uh, for all of your Zotero data. You could customize that to backup PDFs or backup larger files. I don't tend to do that because I don't pay for extra space. Um, but if it's only syncing the uh, Zotero records, the metadata, all of that information, 300 megabytes is tons of space. Um, so that way, if you ever had to wipe your computer again, you could restore from, uh, from their cloud storage. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, um, feel free to send me another email, and uh, I'll see if I can fix it for you. Thanks.